Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Duke Cakes Vivarium. This is the uh, 55th episode. Hard to believe that I've been doing this for longer than a year. Well, I probably haven't actually. Hey, you're not supposed to be out of your cage. There we go. Um, I probably actually haven't been doing it longer than a year. Because I've recorded more than one episode a week. And I just uploaded them all. And they've been sitting around for a while. Yeah, how did he get out? Interesting. Well, anyways, I have uh, what I'm sure is going to be devastating and heartbreaking news for all of you viewers. This will be the last episode on Ducake's Avarium. And uh, it has absolutely nothing to do with the server itself. Um, still a great server. A lot of fun to be had. I just don't have the time anymore. Um, as I mentioned only moments ago, uh, I record these videos way in advance. Like this video is being recorded at the beginning of June and it's going out, um, did I say June? I meant July. Beginning of July I'm recording this. And I think it'll be published the beginning of August. This one's only a month in advance. Um, but I have some stuff up for October already. So yeah, I record this stuff way in advance. And, uh, if everything goes well, I will be a homeowner by the time this video goes live. With, uh, you know, all those homeowner -y things to take care of. Plus, I am, uh... Is this guy not tamed? Or is it because I'm holding a pickaxe? Plus, I am working on a few other projects that are, uh, kind of important. I'm trying to upgrade my website, and that takes a lot of time, because I'm not really a web developer. So, there's a ton of t trial and error involved. Which, yeah, major pain. But, but, wow, these guys are still breaking out. But it'll be way better of a website when it's all said and done. So, that's the reason I'm working on redoing it. Wait a minute, who left that door open? Interesting. So, yeah, this will be... This will be the last episode. Heartbroken, I know. Like, I don't even have everything finished in this suit. Yeah, the door was open. Well, how did that door get opened? Hmm. So, it is what it is. Obviously, I'm not going to, like, just go through and destroy everything here. It'll all continue to exist. So you can, uh, feel more than free to come over and visit. But, uh, yeah, there's not going to be anybody here to put these animals back in their cages when they break out. Uh, as far as what I am moving on to, as far as these... Ooh. Oh, never mind. That was a crocodile out there. As far as these bigger and better things... Um, well, I already mentioned the website update. But I'm also working on a course for mind test modding that's going to cover everything a to z and unlike my current uh modding videos which come on let's i'll just be completely honest here they're not scripted uh i mean usually i know what i'm doing before i start it but even so there pretty much is no editing that i do on them so any mistakes i make in the video you get to watch which I know some... My penguin! Which I know some people like. You know, because it adds that human element to it. But other people just want to see how to do it. And they don't want to have to deal with some dummy who doesn't know what he's doing. Show them the wrong way of doing things. So. I'm going to be writing scripts for everything. And it'll be uh, actually available in video format. And I will be doing like supplemental PDFs. 
that'll cover much of the same material, but in PDF form. So those people that learn better from reading versus watching video, uh, they'll have something that they can use and glean information from. I know for myself personally, uh, I prefer video 100 times over text because with video I can actually see what they're doing whereas text I have to try to figure out what they're talking about and if something that they say to do doesn't look the same or I can't even figure out what it is well then I'm I can't do anything because I don't know what I'm doing but video you actually get to see them you find out where all the buttons are everything like that so um, yeah I know that I mean it's just there's people that learn different ways and I'm not saying either way is right or wrong it's just that's the way the human brain works some people's work differently than others and that's fine so yeah that's another big project and then obviously uh, as I mentioned I'm buying this house and uh, you know it needs some work it needs some painting and uh, it needs to be automated you know all that good stuff because you want to live in a dumb house. We need a smart house, right? Uh, and it's pretty much all going to be um, what's the word I'm looking for here? All self-built, I guess, kind of. I mean, it's all going to be built with existing components, but I'm not going to be like using some company's solution. There's uh, some open source products out there that I'll be using. And, uh, yeah, so it'll be a lot of a lot of work, but I expect it'll be a lot of fun as well. Um, and I'm actually going to be starting another YouTube channel in which I will be uh, going over a lot of the different stuff that I'm doing to the house, pretty much. So I don't have a URL for that yet, so it won't be in the video description, but uh, it'll be announced. I'll actually make an announcement video that'll end up on this channel, which will probably be up before this video goes live. But, uh, yeah, so this is going to be the last episode, guys. Uh, thanks for being here. It's been a lot of fun. If you want to, uh, want to come and take over this, this beautiful vivarium here, uh, let me know. Contact me on IRC or the forums or Telegram or just go to my website, NathanSalpat.com. It's linked in the video description in every single one of my videos. And up in the top menu, there's a contact me link. Just click that and I'll give you all the information for every single way you can contact me. And you can contact me any of those ways and just be like, hey, yo, man. Or, I mean, you don't have to say, yo, man, you can say whatever you want. But just let me know that you want to do some work on the vivarium here. And we will figure out a time and both jump on the server and I can add you to the protection blocks. And uh, yeah, do some stuff that way. And uh, you never know. You know, if people do stuff that I really like, I could always record more videos. You know, it's not like I will never, ever record another video on the server. I probably will. But the weekly videos are going to be over as of this one. Uh, I just, I'm going to need the time to do other things. And, uh, yeah, I actually, honestly, I like coding a little more than even playing. Which I know to a lot of people probably sounds bizarre. But coding is fun. And it's not that playing isn't fun, but coding's just more fun because you can do anything you want in code. Well, I mean, within reason, you can do anything you want. Like, I, uh, I'm working on a custom sub game, and I actually just finished writing uh, ah, code for chests that have upgrades. So you can name any of your chests if you put a name tag on it. And you can, uh, you can sort the contents of a chest if you put in a, well, right now it actually uses a piece of dirt, but that'll change eventually to something more suitable. 
and it'll be uh, a little sorting rune or something that'll let you sort the stuff in the chest. So it's a lot of fun. It's a lot. It's a lot of work. Not gonna lie, but it's a lot of fun. Um, as far as the course that I'm working on, um, it is going to be paid. Uh, YouTube gives me some money, you know, like five bucks a month is what I'm sitting at right now. Um, but this will be a paid course, uh, and in, I don't know, maybe 20 bucks or something. I'm not sure what I'll sell it for. Um, so not too bad. And it'll obviously give you lifetime. Well, maybe it's not obvious, but it'll give you lifetime updates. So whenever I put out any uh, new content to cover new changes or even new things that are added to the engine and whatever, that'll all be available for free for you. And I'll be putting um, a decent amount of it on YouTube as well, I think. But it'll be... Uh, It'll be kind of the more non-coding stuff that I'll put on YouTube. So, for example, I'm going to have uh, a section just where I, like an intro chapter where I kind of tell you who I am, you know, a little bit about me, something about mind test. Um, there'll be sections about downloading and installing. I'm going to have a video on compiling mind tests for anybody on Linux that wants to compile themselves. Um, they want to compile mind test themselves. Not that they want to compile themselves because you can't compile yourself. But, um, yeah, that'll be. That's weird. That'll be something that I will have for free. And there'll be, there'll just be a lot of stuff that's available for free. A lot of the PDF download type stuff. I'm thinking I'm putting a lot of those up on my website for free. Um, and it's kind of twofold because it'll A, let you kind of know the quality you can expect from the course which I mean if you're buying something for 20 bucks you kind of want to know that what you're getting is good and then uh, it'll also pull in a little extra publicity I guess for the course because people will watch the videos and be like oh hey there's a course that this came from and uh, if they're interested Obviously, they can then go ahead and purchase it. So, oh, I can't open that with grapes, I guess. So that's going to wrap this video up, guys. Thanks for hanging around. It has been great. I'm going to uh, stop and interact with this Dan fella here, I guess. And, uh, yeah, thanks for all the support. And... Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'm going to keep putting out my test videos. Just won't be quite maybe so often as it is right now. But, uh, yeah. That's me. Thanks for watching.